Hello, my name is Greg Matlashewski. I'd like to talk to you today about a disease known as visceral leishmaniasis. Visceral leishmaniasis is the second most fatal parasitic disease after malaria, and there are over 500,000 new cases each year in parts of Asia, Africa, and South America. This disease is transmitted by the bite of an infected sand fly and is 100% fatal if not treated. Fortunately, there are now effective treatments, including a single dose of ambosome or multiple doses with meltofosin. What is most needed now, however, is an effective diagnostic test. The currently used diagnostic test, known as RK39, has a major flaw, and this is that this test detects the presence of antibodies against the parasite in the blood. The problem with this test is that the majority of people who develop these antibodies never develop the disease. Therefore, there's a lack of specificity at this level. With the support of Grand Challenge Canada, we propose a novel approach, and that is to be able to directly detect the presence of the parasite in the blood using monoclonal antibodies. We've made considerable progress in this regard in that we've generated a panel of recombinant proteins derived from the most highly expressed genes in Leishmania. Therefore, these protein products would be the most accessible to be detected by monoclonal antibodies. With these monoclonal antibodies, we will then develop a uh, sandwich ELISA, which where one of the monoclonal antibodies is used for capture and the other monoclonal antibody can use for detection. This type of assay is very sensitive at detecting minute amounts of protein in blood, for example, in the case of a Leishmania infection. With the ELISA assay being developed at McGill University, we will then collaborate with our colleagues at the Rajendra Memorial Research Institute in India. Uh, this is an institute that treats over 400 cases of visceral leishmaniasis each year. They also carry a cutting-edge research and training in visceral leishmaniasis. So with our colleagues in India, we will be able to validate and optimize this test. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and also thank Grand Challenge Canada.